Hello student of class 7. Let's continue our chapter Wind and Storm. Till now we have discussed about how low pressure area created. And because of this low pressure area and the high pressure area, the pressure difference is created. And from the higher pressure to the lower pressure area, the air moves. And this way, wind flow. Now today we are going to discuss formation of wind currents on earth. Wind currents are formed due to the uneven heating of the earth in the following ways. Uneven heating of the earth meaning is that whenever sunlight fall on the surface of earth it not fall equally on getting more sunlight and some area getting less sunlight so some area become more warmer compared to this other area so we can say uneven heating of the earth and this is the main reason for by which wind currents form uneven heating between the equator and the poles Poles, you know, there are two poles, North Pole and South Pole. This pole getting very less sun compared to the other area. The equatorial region receive more sunlight. You can see the sun light falling straightly. First of all, in equilateral regions, and in polar region, the sunlight getting the sunlight getting very less therefore the air near the earth surface in the equator region gets heated and rises up because we know hot air always rises up and low pressure area created this process creates a low pressure regions cold air from the high pressure area on either side of the equator up to the latitude of 30 degree flows into the low pressure area near the equator so student you can see the polar area getting less sunlight and and the equator place getting more sunlight so as a result the polar region not so warmer and the equator become very warmer so as a result the in equator place whatever the air is present that air, air also become heat and they come heat and they moves up and a low pressure area created and this low pressure area filled by the cold air from the both polar region into this equator near place and this way the air or the wind blow to the equator the warm air, air which rise up cools and sinks down in the region of latitude nearly 30 degree north and south of the equator as the cool air sinks air sinks these areas become high pressure region once again wind flows from this high pressure area to the equator at polar region as the wind flows towards the poles at regions of latitude 60 degree from the equator it meets the poles and rises up creating low pressure area and the cold air from the polar region flows again towards the low pressure area so due to the effect of rotation of earth the wind flowing in the northern hemisphere bends towards its right and, and the wind in the south hemisphere bends towards the left. This is due to the origin of force called the Coriolis force caused by the rotation of Earth's own axis. The direction of the Coriolis force in the northern hemisphere is towards the right and in southern hemisphere is towards the left. So from here we have understand that the air current or wind current 
whatever form on earth that is because of the pressure differences and this pressure differences create because of the uneven heating of the earth by sunlight